What's up, everybody? It's G from Bushwick Service coming at you live from my hallway. I gotta talk shipping. Can I please talk shipping? I gotta talk about shipping. Some of you know, I used to be a trucker. I was a trucker, then I was an art installer, then I was a fucking dude in the office, and then I started Bushwick Service, and I gotta talk shipping. People ask me shipping questions all the fucking time, all the time, and the first question they always ask is, gee, how do I ship it the cheap? How do I ship this the cheapest way possible? Well, let me fucking tell you. There is a saying that goes in shipping. It goes, if it's cheap and it's good, it won't be fast. If it's good and it's fast, it won't be cheap. If it's cheap and it's fast, it fucking sucks, okay? So, whew, let's start from the beginning, okay? First, gee, I need to ship something. It's really cheap. What do I do? Well, first of all, if it's small, like this beautiful piece by Jesse McGlosky, you can use a common carrier. Common carrier is someone like FedEx, UPS, DHL. They got their own fucking fleece of trucks. They got their own fleece of airplanes. They can do it pretty fucking cheap as long as you pack it the right way. So if you have a small painting like that, best thing to do, put a little plastic on it, put a little cardboard on it, sandwich it between two eighth to quarter inch piece of plywood, tape it up real good, ship it. It'll be fine. If it gets any bigger, then you deal with dimension restrictions. It'll most likely go freight, which honestly is going to cost you a shitload of money. So that's common carrier. What's after common carrier? You have the LTL network. Can we talk about the LTL network? The LTL network is all the fucking trucks in the entire country, probably in other worlds too, uh, probably in other countries too. I'm talking about this country. LTL is all the trucks going on in this country right now that you can just Go on a load board or talk to a broker and put anything you want on this truck. Now, you have to understand, you ever see baggage handlers on the air, airlines? That's them. Here. They will toss your shit, which is why if you ever use an LTO carrier, you have to put it in a crate. Crating cost is going to cost probably more than the trucking. Trucking is generally super duper cheap. Trucker, trucker might charge $250 to go to California. And the shipper will charge about anywhere from 30 to 50%. Bushwick service, me, I don't give a fuck about that. I usually charge about 10 to 20% because I make my money in the pickup. I make my money in the packing. I make my money in the install. I don't want to deal with the truckers, especially when we go into insurance. We'll talk about insurance in a little bit. Okay, so we got common carrier. We got LTL. And including there is full TL. You can rent a full tractor trailer to do whatever the fuck you want. The, include two hours of detention, which means two hours to load your shit up. And then they'll drive wherever the fuck you want. Uh, it's not really good. I kind of enjoy the environment and clean air. When you do that, they're, and you're not filling the tractor all the way, it's just fucking bad for the environment. Don't do it. <sighs> common carrier. LTL, FTL. Who's next? Well, let's see. If you're watching me, you're probably into our transport world, which means you've heard of Cadogan, Tate, Ganger, White, A4, uh, US Art. All of those guys run their own trucks all around the country. Uh, whoo! Gotta talk shipping, baby. And you guys with the price, they're gonna send you a phone number. It's not a phone number, though, it's the fucking bill. Because it is so pricey, because it takes a lot of infrastructure going in. Those trucks cost $150,000. They have to do background checks on the guys. They usually monitor exactly where it is at all times, and they monitor the climate on there. So if you're shipping something that's delicate, uh, like fucking wax, we have that shit wax, wax before, you gotta have a climate control truck, or you're gonna end up with a puddle of shit when you get there. <sighs> I know Cadogan Tate goes to Miami, or they used to go to Miami every fucking week, uh, California every fucking week, uh, Gander and White A4, they probably do the same amount of th the same thing. Uh, Smaller companies that do it do not run as often. No big deal. Uh, but that is one of the most safest ways to get things from A to B. What if something breaks? Guess what? It's already been broken. Now what do you do? Well, you should have taken the fucking insurance. Because if you look at the bill of lading, which is the form you sign when you when you send something, they make you sign a BOL. If you read the back of that BOL, unless you signed off on the full coverage, you ain't getting shit but 50 cents per pound. Anything. If that trucker pulls over on the side of the road, throws your shit into the ocean, and drives to you and says, hey, fuck you, your shit's in the ocean, you literally can't do anything except collect 50 cents per pound. That's how it works. I didn't make the rules. I just have to obey them blindly, okay? So the best thing to do is always get the full coverage, full liability insurance, full coverage. Generally, there are stipulations. If you ship something that's marble and you say you want it and it's $20,000 and you want it fully insured, they're going to charge you, first they're going to charge you anywhere from 1% to 2% of the total value. Plus, they have the final say in how they pack it, okay? You can't say, oh, no, just put a blanket on it. Oh, no, no. fuck you. If they're doing a full liability insurance, they're going to crate it, okay? No one's going to ship a goddamn marble cross country with a piece of blanket on it, okay? You got to put it in a crate. Don't be a cheap bastard, all right? It's $20,000 nightstand. Don't be cheap, okay? Now you might be thinking, what if I have something that is just irreplaceable? I know the feeling. What do you do? Well... You just get the full liability insurance and you do what they say because they're the professionals. Really simple. Uh, there's no point in cutting corners because if something happens, you're going to really wish you had that insurance. It is a small price to pay for peace of mind. Woo! There, there we go. We are talking shipping, uh, specifically art shipping, and I think I covered everything. We got uh, common carriage, we got LTL, full TL, and we got private shuttles. Woo! Love talking shipping. 
Any questions, concerns, drop a comment down below. If you like it, if you don't, let me know what you're thinking. Everyone be safe, except for Carol Baskin. She probably killed her husband.